Page 20, Footprints in the Sand. I go through my process for learning a piece of music. You know, I like to take it just one thing at a time, and I just gradually build it up. First, I look it over, two pages long, treble and bass clef, no sharps or flats in the key signature. We're in the key is C major, more or less. So you need to do the scale for C major and the scale for A minor, because that has no sharps. I just do the major and minor scale with the same key signature. It wouldn't hurt to do the arpeggios, too. Four, four time signature. Take it one hand at a time first to make sure I understand the fingering and all that's going on. Right hand is here. One, and two, and three. And then down one. Down again. And this, yeah, that's a C, a D, and an E. Okay, and then lift up and come up again. And then here. If you don't, now you play it all black keys so you can get away with this. And then down. And that measure eight, the whole note, it's an F, a G, and a B. I just spell out the chords when I get to them. And then going on. Let's go over to measure 17. Now we have here a chord. Try and get the notes down at the same time. You can use one and three, five on all these chords if you'd prefer. I typically don't. For instance, I can go one, two, four on measure 17, and then one, three, five here for the first one, and then one, two, four. So I'm just preparing going up. It's, it's up to you. A measure 21, I would suggest a one, two, four here, because a measure 20, we're here. We're just going down for one measure. So it's four here, and then you can go up. They're all black keys, an E flat, G flat, B flat, and then up, an F, A flat, C, and then an F, G, B. Oh, and then we're back to reality again. Try and get these notes down at the same time. I don't, but maybe you can. Let's go down to the bottom, measure 33. It's a B, E, G. And then a C minor chord, and then here, the, they don't need the natural sign there for the E, it's an E natural anyway, but you just had an E flat, they're being clear, it's okay. And then you come up here and do the same chord an octave higher, it's up here. Just lift up and move, that's all. Left hand, well, see that, again, we don't have to do one and five on all these. I can do a 1-4 out here, and then I'm ready here. Or I can do a 1-5, and then a 4, and then again a 4. So you can use other fingerings rather than 5-1 on everything, but you'll have to decide what works for you. So you work out the left hand, and then put them together. It's Measure 9, you're starting a different melody, sort of. go through and put the hands together and then go back through and get rid of the hesitations. Keep it slow as fine but no hesitations. And once you do that I think about the articulation and then here you're pretty much connecting everything. You can lift up, lift up, lift up. You have to lift up at measure four to go on because you got to move. The pedal's going to cover it all up. If you'd like in my opinion you can just connect it. Take it more like a four major phrase, and I just connect everything within those four measures and then lift up. So you're pretty much connecting everything. Dynamics, then, it's going to be the, really the right hand. Keep the left hand in the background. So this is mezzo piano or moderately soft. Sort of soft. Well, this is going to be soft or very soft. Measure seven, go up, moderately loud here, and keep 
keep this in the background. So measure nine now, we're moderately loud, but that's the right hand. You, you get the idea of the dynamics. See, we kind of do the art, uh, dynamics artificially. That we're, Mechanically, we're forcing them here, just following them right along. But eventually, we want to get to know the piece well enough that we, we're not thinking about notes and rhythms and we're really getting into the music. You, you feel the dynamics because you can adjust them a little bit once you start feeling it. As far as the speed, it, overall, it's uh, it, not fast or slow in the middle. And that's the overall feel. Then the eighth notes are going to want to slow it down a little bit. But then the quarter notes and the half notes are going to speed it up. So you're going to find somewhere in the middle. So it's... Somewhere in the middle. And they give metronome markings to give you an idea. But again, that's sort of a guide. And then finally, of course, they've added pedal. We want lots of overtones, and we're going to connect everything. It's going to help us because we can't connect everything with the hands. These chords are hard to connect with the fingers, so the pedal will help us. We still do the best we can with the hands, so don't just say, well, the pedal's going to do it, so I'm not going to worry about holding it down. That really is an error, a mistake. Please don't. Try and hold it down with the hands as best you can even though you know the pedal's going to help. It's going to be overlapping pedal. So the hands go down first, the notes go down first, then the pedal. I change the pedal after I play the notes, and then it's... And that's basically the pedaling throughout. Now you can adjust it a little bit if you want in certain places. For instance, uh, measure 28 for to here. I can lift the pedal or, uh, up here. I'm not going to lift it up. I, I want to connect the notes. They're repeated. I want to connect them so I need the pedal. But I could change it there so I hear the rest in the right hand. So the right hand sound went away. If, so if I want to hear the rest, I'm going to change the pedal accordingly. Little things like that. You listen carefully to what the pedal is doing to the sound. If I were going to be playing this myself, I would adjust this pedaling. Because some of the times these eighth notes in the right hand get a little blurry for me and I don't care for it. At the beginning, it's okay, you're just playing broken chords. But like on measure seven here, I don't like that, so I would probably change the pedal on the third beat. Here, just clean it out. And this part is okay, it's kind of nice having all this sound. But on measure 11, that's too much. I would, I would change the pedal on the third beat. Same thing with measure 15, change the pedal on the third beat. Just so it cleans it out a little bit. It's just, it's too much for me. And anywhere else I get the same kind of passage, I would change the pedal. But there's different ways of pedaling. So you'll have to decide what is the sound you're after. Or your teacher will decide for you, and that's fine too.
you have a poco retard on there at the end, you slow down a little bit. So I tend to want to slow down in a few other places. It's just that's interpretation. Once you learn the mechanics, get it out of the way, you get into the music, you start feeling it. And you play with expression. Don't forget the natural accents. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. On measure nine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One. Feel the natural accents all the way through. Let's play this together very slowly and check all the notes and rhythms. I'm tempted not to pedal it because you can hear the notes better without the pedal, but I'll go ahead and pedal it so you can see the pedaling and hopefully you can hear the notes okay. Are you playing the same notes I'm playing? That's, I'm not going to do any dynamics. We're not performing it. We're just playing notes and rhythms. So I'll give us four counts. One, two, Ready and go and one. Three. 